BrianRocha.tv. Yeah! What's up, everyone? Uh, welcome to Sintra, Portugal. Uh, it's where I'm at today. I'm going to be showing you guys around. Uh, I've been here a couple times already. Uh, once with Miriam and with Janine as well, my sister. And I know that she absolutely loves Sintra. So I thought I'd do a little video blog and show you guys around. Um, it's a really beautiful city. Uh, the hills, the buildings, there's a lot of history. Uh, the Moorish Castle, which is from the 8th or 9th century. Also the Penna, which is from the 19th century uh, for the royal family. But uh, really hope you guys enjoy. We might have a little ginginha on the way. And uh, yeah, here with some friends and going to have a good time. Peace! It's a sour cherry, a sour cherry liquor. It's a very typical Portuguese liquor, it, and it's very good in a chocolate cup because you drink a half and after a mixture uh, with the chocolate. Okay, you figure from that. Okay. You know, drink a half and after put it in your mouth to make sure the chocolate and the liquor. So half and then the whole thing? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Brian Rocha.tv. Yeah! What's up, everyone? I'm here at the Park and Palace of Pena uh, in central Portugal. And as you can see, the palace right behind me. Uh, this is, some call this some of the finest romanticism, um, architecture and art, which is, which is incredible. Uh, this is from the 19th century. Uh, the palace is from Don Fernando II. And I uh, thought I'd show you guys around and show you, uh, show you this fantastic stuff. All right, peace. Peace! They wouldn't let us take photos or video inside the Pana Palace. Um, but one thing that stood out that I did want to touch on was the fact that everything was small. From the beds to the chairs um, to some of the ceilings uh, was pretty much seemed like constructed for short people. Um, now I realize Portuguese are generally short, um, so not sure if... Uh, if that was the case, or if uh, Don Fernando II um, and all of his workers uh, were short as well, but uh, yeah, that that was an interesting fact, and yeah, peace. What's up, everyone? I'm here at Piriquita and enjoying some some fresh pastries with some friends. Um, right now I have uh, two queijadas and a travesseiro. Now basically what this is, this is, a, this is a traditional Portuguese dish, but mainly from Sintra. Um, the travesseiro is made of cheese and almonds um, with no. pop. No. Egg and almonds oh. inside. <laughs> Egg and almonds inside um, with powdered, powdered sugar on top. And the queijada is fresh cheese and cinnamon. Anything else? Is that it? Okay. Flour. <laughs> and flour. Flowers. So I'm um, gonna, gonna taste the queijada right now. <laughs> Not bad. Muito bem. Okay. 
No. Mm. It's really good. <laughs> Travesado. 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 <laughs> mm. This one's really good. This one's really good. All right. All right, I'm out. Peace. I want to eat. I want to give a shout out to Marek. I appreciate your recommendation of Quinta da Regalera uh, in Sintra. Uh, I wasn't able to go there on this trip. However, I have been there before and I highly recommend it. The um, place is awesome. The park, the tunnels, uh, definitely the cave um, down below as well. Um, also remember my friend Miriam uh, said the palace there looks like the Adams Family House, which I agree with. Uh, but yeah, thanks for the recommendation.